Big news for people using or being used by Twitter. The time-sucking tool may be dumping the like button. CAO believes that since people want more likes on their comments, they might boost the attention-grabbing qualities of their tweets. And that's bad. Sounds like ratings. But to me, that's like removing seatbelts on the Hindenburg. It's not about the accessories. It's about the thing itself. Does Twitter have any purpose at all other than attention-seeking? No one ever tweets, get out, your house is on fire. No, Twitter is the world's bathroom wall, allowing the worst part of you to shine. No one is better on Twitter than they are in real life. They're avatars <laughs> without souls. Because without face-to-face -face dialogue, cues are missed and cowardice rules. Is that person being sarcastic or mean? And when reading the tw tweet, do you actually care? It's more fun to condemn than comprehend. Meanwhile, the same biases exist there as anywhere else. The CEO still protects Farrakhan while banning other noxious voices and calling it brave because if you're spineless, moral posturing is all you have left. The first mistake we ever made with Twitter is thinking that it mattered. Mm. But the worst part of it, us and our willingness to be used. Without content provided by you or me, the platform wouldn't exist and Jack Dorsey wouldn't be worth five billion bucks. He's a guy getting rich off dog fights, and we are the mutts. I feel like I'm used every day that I'm on Twitter, Jesse. Uh, yeah, I think I know when you're having fun on Twitter, it's like eight or nine. You start getting loose and you start saying things you shouldn't say. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I like Greg's Twitter feed around <laughs> between eight and nine and ten. That's the best, Greg. I don't uh, participate in Twitter. I uh, walk a fine line as it is yes. on television. Yes. I think uh, <laughs> typing things down so it stays in eternity is too risky for me. It is. So I like to just, just tweet and retweet things I say on the air. <laughs> and I need the like button. I need to feel liked. I want to know what I say and how people are reacting to it. And the more likes I get, the better I feel about myself. Uh, I need that reassurance. At least you admit that, though. Uh, yeah. you admit Was that, that too honest? Juan, you don't even, you just stay away from yeah, me. Yeah, Juan, don't go on Twitter. <laughs> don't go. Yeah, I'd like no, to, as your friend, please don't go. Yeah. Well, it has commercial value because it can publicize projects and but appearances and the like. I don't think it sells anything. Like, I, do you ever know? I don't think it sells books. No. No, I, mean, I don't. I think either. it can alert people to a segment coming up or something like that, but sales, no, probably. No. But you know what? It's a lot of ego. People yeah. want think that you want to hear what they have to say. Yeah. But the, I really agree with what you said in the monologue because, to my mind, there is such a lack of responsibility on the part of these social media platforms. Right. And they don't want to deal with the fact that more than half of Americans say they've been harassed in social media, demeaned, yeah. put down, trolled. Mm -hmm. I can tell you stories. And so I, don't, I just think. If they were responsible, instead of always saying, oh, you know, we want to facilitate good conversation, but then they don't protect against people who are vicious and vile and mm -hmm. sordid mm -hmm. in terms of what they say. Yeah. It's damaging to our country and to our society. Or could you argue, Morgan, that it provides a release mm -hmm. so people don't aren't vile on the street, like the trolls end up letting it out online and therefore it reduces incidents of violence? Could that be a possibility? Maybe, but I actually think like eight to ten years ago, there when Twitter was younger, there was actually amazing things happening on Twitter. Remember in the 2009 Iranian Green Revolution that almost uh, overthrew that administration? True. That started on Twitter. I was living in the Middle East in 2011 during the Arab Spring. A lot of that seeing Mubarak and, and those regimes fall, the Arab Spring happened because of Twitter. It has devolved since then, but I remember I was in the Middle East at the beginning of the Obama administration, and we were amazed at how social media was bringing down, you know, 30 30-year autocrat regime. So mm -hmm. um, perhaps there's a way to get it back to that, where it's taking down people a, we don't like. That's yet. a fair point. It's an end around over uh, 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 tyrants. And well, it's like yeah. Trump's end around over the, the media. media. Yes. Good point. Dana, how many Twitter followers do you have now? Two million? A lot. Two and a half yeah. million? That's a lot. It's a lot. And you, you know why you do it? You know how, why you get it? Because you're exploiting your dog. dog. <laughs> the dog, you know, Jasper has no idea he's on Twitter. No, um, <laughs> he's definitely not as, as used as there you are. There should be dog lawyers. You know the biggest problem with Twitter and the like button? What? When they change it from a star to a heart. Yes. It just changed Every, everything why? because you don't want to love something you, you like star it like oh that's good that's interesting yeah. that's what, like, like harding it is gross like they should have never done that you know why because you also start things that you want to re remember to go back to yeah, absolutely you, you know that's true and also have you ever had complaints from people if you like their tweet and they'll call could you please retweet it? Like, yeah. have, have some guts and retweet it. <laughs> I just, I, I wonder if all of us should abstain for one week from Twitter. Yeah, we say that, but the we never do it. I did it when I went to Spain, and it was great. Uh, 
Way to drop your vacation. Yeah. Oh, when I was in Spain, yeah. I, I didn't do any tweeting. When I was in the Middle East. Yeah, well, I would have, when I was in Milpitas, California. 